Okay, so uh, I thought I would make a very quick video just demonstrating how I use FZF, actually in this case FZY. They're basically the same program, FZY is just a little more minimal, I don't really need to be using it, but you know, more minimal software. Uh, they're basically drag and drop replacements, you can use either one. Uh, as a D menu replacement, so uh, just as a quick example, I press Super D, this little terminal comes up, and I can type in, like, uh, you know, Cube Browser, or whatever, and it'll launch Cube Browser. Uh, it's 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 a very simple one-line script, and uh, I think it's really cool. Uh, you know, not to say that D menu isn't minimal software, it is, but uh, the most minimal thing you can do is creatively use the programs that you already have on your computer, rather than getting a new program when you already have something that can do the same thing. Although, you know, at the end of the day, it, what, D menu is like 0 0.05 megabytes, it's like, it's, it's probably not a big deal if you decide to install D menu instead, but I just personally like the way this looks, I like the way it feels, and uh, I just use it. Um, so, uh, this is how it works. Uh, if I bring up this, it's a, this really simple one-line script, uh, it prints all the commands, pipes it into FZF or FZY in this case, um, and then uh, runs it uh, using bin sh, and then any errors or output just puts it to dev null. Uh, super simple one line script, I will be leaving that in the description if you want to copy paste it. And so I just have in a, uh, conf, config, oh my god, s, x, h, here, uh, just here you can see <coughs> my old d menu command, I don't even have d menu installed anymore. All it does is it brings up an instance of your XVT with the name menu and then runs <coughs> that program, that script uh, in your XVT. The reason I have it running with the name menu is that then in uh, .config bspwm uh, you can see down here uh, anything that has any anything that has the name menu, it's going to run in the floating state with a rectangle in the middle of the screen. You just have to do those calculations manually to figure out how big you want it and to center it in the screen or not. Maybe you don't want it centered in the screen. Uh, but that's pretty much it. It's just a super simple script. It just brings up this terminal. Um, actually, I will demonstrate uh, that you can uh, uh, replace it with FZF just because that's probably how most people are going to want to do it, and uh, it works the same. Uh, yeah. You can type cute browser, and it'll bring it up. Uh, so there you go, that's, uh, um, that's my script. That I didn't make it, I found it on the internet somewhere. <coughs> and that's how you that's how you use it, and it's pretty cool, and it's in the description if you want to copy the one-liner. It only works with ZSH, uh, or actually I don't I haven't tested other shells, but it doesn't. It's not a uh, standard bash, um, or or like standard shell. Uh, it seems to I don't actually know the details. I'm not a shell script guy. Like I'm not super knowledgeable about that stuff, but. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, when I tried running it with just normal pointing it to bin sh at the start of the file, it didn't work. I had to point it to zsh, uh, which probably isn't a big deal. Most people use some form of zsh or some other shell. Uh, so, I don't know, try it out in your shell, see if it works. I, I don't actually know if it will or why it wouldn't. Again, I'm kind of stupid when it comes to this stuff. But it is a really cool script and super simple.